In January 2018, approximately 20,210 babies were born in Nigeria, making the country the third country with the highest number of newborn on the first day of the year. And this is after India and China. Currently, Nigeria's population represents 2.35% of the world population and a UN projection for 2050 puts it that Nigeria will be the country with the third highest number of people living in the world. The country as it stands is still grappling with the trouble of establishing a defined national population policy to help address the escalating population challenges. World Population Day, commemorated on July 11, draws attention to the ever-pressing issue of population. And topping the chart is family planning, which was captured on this year's theme, Family Planning is a Human Right. How many Nigerians know this? Family planning should be a normal human right. Every woman should be able to decide the number of children, the, family, the number of children they want in their family. Because it's going to help. It helps the woman to regain emotionally, psychologically. It also helps economically. The number of population really affects the economy. As you, as, as you see, it, people have many children and they cannot cater for them. Right now, you can see many hoodlums along, along, along the street. I want to believe that family planning should be a choice and not a right. When you give birth to the rate of what you cannot even take care of is, the child will be on a riot person or on liability person in the pictures and it will affect the family. If Nigeria as a country can have family planning right now, it will go a long way. We also spoke to an organization that has been providing family planning options to Nigerians for years. You see so many people who have a problem eating three square meals a day. And Brooklyn's report finally puts numbers to it and makes us come face to face with the situation on ground. And the situation on ground is that we are reproducing faster than our economy can cater for us. We are on a collision course with our own fate if we do not make it a point of duty for everyone to grow up knowing about contraceptives, to be free to use it with or without even spousal consent or any sentiment, to even have, if possible, religious support. Population issues will remain with us for a very long time. But with the right attitude and proper family planning, as our respondents have agreed, a lot can be achieved. Let's play our role, spread the message that family planning is a human right. My name is Felicity Ezewike, reporting for PLOS TV Africa.